Hey everybody, I'm uh, back to show you um, the new vinyl I got. Um, it's been a while since I made a video. Been really busy uh, with work and, uh, and other stuff, but um, I've got a lot to show you, so uh, back to pick it up. First of all, I want to um, thank some people. And the first one is um, Records Glasgow. He uh, uh, sent me this. This is uh, Sons and Daughters, Breaking Fun, which is 7 inch. Thanks for the uh, international uh, final swappery. <laughs> uh, listen to it, it's really cool. And um, so, side A is uh, Breaking Fun, and the second side is called Galio. Yellow. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying this, and uh, um, this is definitely a band I'll check some. Uh, I'll check out some more. So, um, big thank you to you, Records Class Girl. Really cool. Um, then a thank you to a friend of mine who uh, knew I was going to uh, collect the vinyl, and uh, he had some vinyl lying around that uh, he gave to me as a present, and um, really cool. Uh, and he gave me uh, these. This is uh, Alice in Chains, their latest. Black gives way to blue. Really cool. This is on a. Uh, this. On a clear vinyl. I already know the album um, before I got it, and it's a really, really great album with the new singer. Um, but uh, they still sound like the old Alice in Chains, which is uh, really cool. And, um, you know, Jerry Cantrell is a big part of the, in that, but yeah, it's a really good album. Really enjoy that. Um, then he gave me this, <laughs> which is a real, twel uh, real uh, club 12 inch. It's a uh, remixes by uh, songs by Adele. Not really my cup of tea, but really cool that. Uh, that he gave me this, and he gave me this, and this is really funny. Um, this is, um, they say it's a 5 inch, but I think that's too much credit, I think it's actually smaller. I mean, look at that, how cool is that? This is a uh, Flog and Molly, um, this is uh, from their uh, latest record, the special edition, and uh, this is part of it. And uh, really cool. Look how small it is. If you say it's a three or a four inch, I, I would believe you, but uh, apparently it's five inch. Really cool. So a big thank you to you, you don't. Yes, same name as me. <laughs> um, then I got this. I finally managed to um, uh, complete my. Godspeed to Black Emperor uh, uh, collection, which is uh, not that easy here in, in the Netherlands. Um, and this was the last one I needed. This is um, Yang Kui UXO, I believe it's pronounced like that. Um, I already know this album, I'm yet to listen to it on final, but I'm uh, blown away by every release I got so far. Um, they're all on Constellation Records, obviously, and uh, really cool. And um, I'm probably gonna collect, um, start collecting uh, 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 Silver Mount Zion uh, stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm really glad that I finally managed to complete my collection. So, really, really cool. Um, then I got this. This is the uh, first Queens of the Stone Age record, the re-release. Um, obviously, uh, the well-known record to cover. If you're below 18, don't look now. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's probably well-known to everyone already inside. Um, better not show that. <laughs> And um, that's on a really cool blue vinyl. 
Uh, got this today, so I haven't listened to it yet, but um, yeah, got this at a, at a really uh, decent price, and um, yeah, really, really, really glad I got this. Then I got this into battle with the Art of Noids, with the band being obviously the Art of Noids. Um, this is a Record Store Day, 2011 Record Store Day release. Um, and I actually got this um, just looking at the cover. I was really loved this cover and um, and the name of the band, Art of Noise. I mean, I don't know. I haven't listened to it yet because um, well, the, the previous one, this one, and all the next records I'm going to show you, I just got today. So really, haven't had a chance to listen to any of them yet. But. Um, apparently they're an experimental um, R&B rap group and they are pioneers in, in sampling and um, the technique they used was apparently really um, well amazing for the time and I, I think it's a record from 1983 uh, doesn't, doesn't say. I believe it was 1983, but um, this is a, a musical vinyl release. Um, as always, I'm always blown away by musical vinyl, so I'm pretty sure the sound is, is great. And um, these are also on, on colored vinyl, on a dark blue. It's, it's actually two vinyl sets, so the other one's also on a dark blue. Fine. Really cool, um, and I really can't wait to um, put this on and listen to this because I'm really curious what what this what this will sound like. Um, so yeah, we really bought this at, at a, uh, it, it was oh, let me let me put it in. It was really um, a guess that I bought this, but really curious. And I got this, Agnes Obel, um, the album is called Philharmonics, um, she's a Norwegian's, uh, Norwegian singer-songwriter, um, and um, I bought this because the, the store I, uh, where I always buy my records um, had this on display and uh, as a uh, tip of the month or uh, you know, a record you can buy and be sure that, that everyone will like it. So I was curious, and uh, I really liked uh, um, the cover of this record. And apparently, she makes a mix of um, um, folk classic music. Really cool. Again, I haven't listened to it yet, uh, so I'm really curious. Then I got this one. Sundial. Uh, this is their uh, self-titled album. Um, and I, in my previous video, I showed you um, the other record I got, um, which was called Other Way Out. And listened to that, and was really impressed by it. Really cool, really cool record. And I saw this one lying uh, or uh, sitting there on the shelves and, uh, and bought it. And um, this comes on a really, really cool yellow orange platter vinyl. Really cool. Um, so, yeah, I really liked uh, um, the other record I got, so I'm, I'm pretty curious about this one. Um, then I got. I was. Um, Searching the internet for uh, oh hang on I'm gonna switch the record. Like I was saying, I was um, browsing the internet, um, looking at like the top albums of this year so far, and uh, this one really seemed to pop out. So bought this at the hunt. This is Pan Bear, uh, Tom Boy. It's apparently a solo project by one of the members of um, Animal Collective. 
to be honest. I never looked to any animal collective, and um, so I'm really curious what this sounds like. It's apparently a really experimental uh, psychedelic pop music, and um, really curious what it what it, what it will sound like. Um, for those of you wondering what the white light is, all of a sudden in my face. <laughs> um, I'm looking some things up on uh, Wikipedia, I like the title of the previous Sundial um, album, couldn't think of it, so sorry. Um, anyway, uh, Panda Bear, uh, Panda Bear, Tom Boy, um, really curious, seems to be a really curious video. <laughs> and I got this, Nebula. This is a uh, Peel Sessions, from a uh, recording from the uh, BBC Radio John Peel Sessions. Um, Nebula is a um, psychedelic stoner rock band. Um, never heard anything by them. Um, ever since I uh, started collecting vinyl and I went to the store, I always saw this record sitting there and um, you know today I decided to pick it up because I was really curious um, I'm really into stoner uh, and psychedelic rock metal right now so um, yeah I'm, I'm really uh, really anxious to listen to this and uh, apparently uh, Nebula is a really uh, really good band you know I, I read really positive things about it and uh, Apparently some ex-member or members of Fu Manchu are, are in this band, so, again, really curious. <laughs> and I got this one, Lou Reed, Life in New York, 1972. Um, this looks like a, um, a bootleg, not like an official release. Um, yeah, well, Lurie, you know. Um, I'm I'm actually really looking forward to uh, um, the uh, collaboration he recorded with Metallica. Metallica is one of my uh, favorite bands of all time. Uh, like I probably told you before, uh, some years ago, I had a uh, Metallica phase uh, of several years in which I would listen to nothing else but Metallica. Metallica was it for me. Um, so yeah, it's it's cool they did that project and I'm really uh, curious how, how it will turn out, you know? And um, apparently it's it's gonna sound like a, a mix between um, Lou Reed's Berlin and Metallica's Master of Puppets, which are two really good albums, so I can't wait. Uh, to hear what, what that will sound like when you mix those two together. Um, so yeah, again, really curious. And finally, I got this. This is uh, the Tom York solo solo album, The Eraser. Tom York, obviously of uh, Radiohead, the singer uh, of Radiohead. Um, this is more a, a experimental uh, electronic album. Um, I already have this on CD, and um, yeah, it's really cool. This is a, a 180 grams uh, audio file pressing release, um, and I can't wait to sound to hear uh, what this will sound like because um, the CD is is amazing and. Um, I really can't wait to hear the quality of that. And I think it's a really cool album. And uh, the other day I watched uh, The Prestige, the movie with um, by Christopher Nolan, um, with uh, Christian Bale and uh, Hugh Jackman. Really good movie. I really recommend it if you're into movies. Um, but they actually um, use one of uh, the songs from this album as a. Uh, uh, SDX yes, music really uh, started me. Uh, it really tricked me to, to listen to that album again, and um, glad I found it on final. Really cool.
And now one thing I've got to show you there is a um, nebula. It's actually colored. I have one final, which is on see through orange. And one that is on white. And then the bears on <clears throat> also on white vinyl, so it's always a cool thing, <laughs> I think. Colored vinyl. Um, so yeah, um, those were uh, my recent find or my recent, uh, the recent records I found, and um, yeah. I hope that uh, I can update more frequently uh, in the uh, upcoming time. Because um, I really miss doing this actually. Um, I'll make some video responses to uh, some threads that I missed over the, uh, the, the, the time. And uh, well, I want to thank you for watching and uh, have a great day. Thanks.